It's about potential. It's about talent. It's about understanding that this guy coming out ranked in the top two of his class in high school and making an immediate impact when he stepped onto Oregon's campus. Kayvon Thibodeau is an absolute stud. When you see the, the plays that stand out, you're like, my goodness, he's got a chance to be special if he just focuses on what he needs to focus on. Everybody fears what they don't understand. Finish. Good, there you go, that's the one. When people get to know me and they see what I stand for and what I have to sacrifice to get here, they'll realize why I feel like I was meant to be in this position. Oh, here's TG right here. TG. KT, hey, what's good, my man? Nothing much, man. Just wanted to go over the schedule for today. Um, I know we kind of got a packed day. I mean, we're, we're headed to lunch right now, just finished on the field. And then... For sure. Absolutely. So for today, you have uh, 12 o'clock. After lunch, you have a meeting at the Clutch offices uh, with Beats by Dre, going over some marketing ideas and plans. Um, and then after that, you have a meeting uh, with Marcus, Todd, and Justin uh, to talk Hopefully about the Dream Foundation and the school and things like that. So okay. Much, man. People will say I'm a true entrepreneur. I just try to keep it going, you know, depending on whatever it is. So even if we're talking about, like, people ask me, what am I gonna do off the field? Well, I'm gonna do everything that, you know, fits what the picture I'm trying to paint, and I'm gonna do it, you know, seize as many opportunities as I can. Try to be the ultimate persona of myself. Good, drive the leg through. There you go. That's the energy I'm looking for, one more. Do it like that, break the ball every time, bro. That's where I get locked in, come on. Good. I read the seven daily habits of highly efficient people. And I think the, the biggest thing in that book that really stuck out to me was the consistency and the durability, right? Because everybody can, you know, even, even with media, even with everything, something's here today and gone tomorrow, right? So it's like, you can have the want to today. And then when it starts raining, then you no longer have that want to. And it's like, if you can be a master of your emotions and a master of situations, you can dominate football. And I feel like not only football, but in life, I've really, you know, become a lot more mature and master my situations and master my emotions and kind of being that captain of my own shit. I got the chosen one tattoo because not only did I feel like everything that I have been planning for, because me, I'm a big planner and I'm a guy who, you know, I, I got to move with a purpose. So everything that I have been doing previously and everything, you know, pouring into the season and pouring into college and pouring into being great, all started to kind of roll in and, and, and I really lived it out. So I felt like it was only right for my first tattoo to be the chosen one, knowing that I was that, I, I was that, you know, generation that really changed it for my own family. To have a clear mind is to have an open mind. And I feel like out here is the best place to get that. I'm getting ready for the NFL draft. I mean, like, you don't really get no better than that. Go. Good. Here we go. Push, crossover, good, there you go. Punch, just like that, there you go. Just like that. Just being able to really have my feet in the ground and really be able to, you know, work through all of the steps and creating that power and that strength within your ligaments and your tendons. So, yeah, I think the beach is, it's, it's always a plus when you're trying to be explosive and trying to work in and out of cuts. Only person I know that struck gold without a plan was Columbus. And I don't think there's any more un uncharted land. So for me, it's just like, just knowing where you're gonna go and having a purpose. You know, but every time I get in the driver's seat, I always hate when people drive in front of me without a purpose because it slows the lane down, right? So just being being really strategic and being really, you know, focused on what you have to do. When we talk about how broad the scope is, it's just it's the baseline is empowerment, right? So just being able to uh, empower people and, and keep this upwards trend going, right? How many people can I bring up the mountain? And I, and I don't necessarily br mean bring up on my own. I just mean, how many people can I give that one step that's broken? Or how many people can I, you know, help be be the best themselves they can be? This is a pretty nice complex. Not bad. I work on our sports marketing team, so I'm looking forward to getting to know you a bit more and um, kind of being your point person with all things beats. In order to build like the best ideas for custom product, it usually starts with just having a conversation with you, like figuring out like what you're into, colors, inspiration, and then from there, these guys kind of work their magic. This is another one. This one was done for Dak Prescott. So I'm thinking, let's just say these are all cream, like a cream and gray, like kind of like this gray, 
but maybe a little lighter, right? Because I want to I want to put clouds on it, and I want it to be a kid, like reaching for the stars. Mm-hmm. So I want it to be like you know, I, it's actually a logo, right? So like I have a foundation, it's the Dream Foundation, and it's like um, our colors are actually this cream colors, cream and black. But I feel like on some headphones, like the the cream with the gray, having them like you know having a kid reach for the stars. I don't know what color, color he'd be, gray or black, whatever. Right, you saying yeah, it? Yeah. I don't know, that's awesome. Yeah, so if I could put that on here and then put like Dream across the top, that'd be pretty cool. Wow, you know exactly what you want. I mean, it was just like, I seen some, <laughs> I seen some ideas and it was like, all right, yeah. That's great. Football is the bus. And I think everything else are the stops, right? So for me, I won't be able to get to those stops without football regardless. So as long as I can make that bus go right, and get that gold jacket, then I felt like that'll unlock all the doors that I want in life, you know, and a Super Bowl, and a Super Bowl. That'll be that'll be it right there, but yeah, really, it's my Grand Central Station, you know, it's where God, is, God has blessed me with a gift and, and an ability that I've been able to really tap into and cultivate, so now just being able to reap all the benefits from it and, and really be strategic in how you do it and making sure that we own a lot of stuff and that when I'm done playing, that I don't have to you know, I don't have to do anything that I didn't already plan for. Even before I, I became the number one player, I always thought to myself, I didn't want to have all my eggs in football, right? And I say that because I didn't know where life would lead me because it was so hard to make the NFL. But, you know, now just realizing that I can do it and I, you know, I've been able to do it. I mean, it's just been now there's no turning back. I got to keep going.